So, tool offsetting on the rotor control works almost the same as the work offsetting, which is the video we just completed. You go to the data bank. Uh, most of the information that you're going to want to see is going to be in the data bank. As you can see, there is a tool data page. The tool data al page allows you to input uh, numbers to your tool list, to tool groups, and to tool data ranges. So for this video, we're going to do to the tool list, which gives you your tool offsets. Now I have this screen uh, pulled up as expansion one. It gives you quite a few uh, different values here that you can enter. You can give a you give the tool a name. You type in anything you want as long as it is uh, short enough to fit in the space. Uh, setting a tool length offset, you can directly put in a number, say 5.25, and hit enter, and it puts in the number directly. Or again, you can automatically set using the automatic setting button. The way this works, you register in a parameter the height of the reference that you plan to use from the table surface, and the machine will automatically compensate that number out of the current z-axis position. So we are currently at home, 18.8976, so it's going to compensate out the number that I have in user parameters, and it will give me an offset of 10.6923. If you're down and you like all that, it will ask you to confirm uh, yes or no. If you see something wrong with these numbers and you don't want to set this offset, you can hit no and it will back right out. Or if you do like these numbers, you can hit yes and it registers it into the page. As is the usual process with uh, all of the Brother Data Bank entries, it's going to ask you to complete and either save or not save when you're exiting the page. So we're going to cancel with saving changes. Going back into the tool list page, if you need to make a wear offset, you have the option of punching in a straight number. We're going to shift that up 20 thousandths. And again, you would have to leave, leave by completion mode and either saving or not saving. And there is also the option of adding. So if I want to shift that back down by 5, I punch in minus 0 0.005 and add. And it's that simple. Complete and save.